Both. So what I want to do is I want to work through a problem here, and we're going to try to do uh, we're going to try working with some decimals, and I'm just going to kind of work through how we're going to solve the problem uh, with it. So what we have is we have a cost of a puppy is two hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety five cents. Then they say they're going to mark up that price eighty percent, but then we're going to have a discount of fifty percent, and then we got to add a tax. What is going to be the final price of the puppy? Now I don't really have an exact really kind of uh, dialogue to kind of tell you why it's getting marked up and why we're having a discount, but let's just kind of make a, let's just look through a scenario here. Uh, let's say the original cost of the puppy is two ninety nine ninety five, right? But let's say uh, um, as the puppy gets a little bit older, they mark it up 80%, like per month it goes up. So let's say we're going to have an 80% increase in the puppy's price. We're going to mark it up. So to find out what the new price is going to be, what we're going to do is um, rather than doing proportions, I'm just going to take our markup price, I'm going to reduce it to a decimal, or not reduce it, but um, rewrite it as a decimal, and multiply it by our original price. Now this is going to be the amount that we're going to mark up. So when I multiply my price times our markup, we're going to have times uh, 0.80, and I'm going to get $239.96. So remember, that's going to be the markup price. That is not going to be, so that means we're going to take this amount and we're going to add this much to it. So therefore, I'll add it to our original price, which is 299.95. So therefore, now the new price with the markup is going to be $539.91. Now, let's say, I don't know, um, they have too many of these puppies. So they got to make a quick sale over the weekend, right? He's kind of like one of those, oh, if you buy now, you get this. So let's say for today only, they're going to give you a discount of 50%. Now, it's already been marked up. And now what they're going to do is just take a discount of 50% of now the new price. So you could just multiply by 0 0.50, or I could also just divide by 2. And I'm going to get my new price is going to be $269.95. So let's say you're like, all right, golden, I like it, I want it. There's a tax of 1% for the puppy. So therefore, to find the amount of tax, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 0 0.01, and I'm going to multiply by our purchase price for the puppy. So times 0 0.01, and what I get is $2.00. And 69 cents, and we're just going to carry over our decimals. So that's going to be the amount of tax that you're going to pay. So you're going to pay two dollars and roughly about 70 cents uh, for the puppy. So what I'm going to do is here's my purchase price. So I purchased the puppy for this amount, and then I have to make sure I pay my uh, pay my tax. So I'm going to add the tax to my original purchase price. Point uh, two six nine point nine five five, and therefore I get a final cost of $272.65 for the puppy. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you convert decimals when you have a markup, discount, and tax. Thanks.